happy Monday. It's almost 3 o'clock Monday afternoon, and the little boy, I hope so you can see him, I'm not sure where I'm even pointing my camera, but he's there somewhere. The little boy and I are on our way to the airport to pick up my oldest, Caitlin, who, again, if you haven't watched any previous videos, she is coming up from Tampa, Florida, to um, surprise Mike, her dad, my husband, for Father's Day, which is this coming Sunday. Um, but Mike and I will be away, so Caitlin's coming up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I have to take her back to the airport Thursday. And then Thursday, she's actually flying to spend the rest of the week with one of her friends that she's known since they were in junior high school, who now lives in Tennessee. So anyway, we're on our way to the airport now to pick her up. So hopefully, um, I will remember to turn my camera on because I'm like really bad with that for some reason. I just, I guess I'm just still new to this and I forget. So hopefully I remember. Okay, talk to you. I don't know if you can see it since the camera makes everything look far away, but I'm actually just passing the runway. It's dead in front of the camera. So I'm only a few miles away. afternoon. <laughs> we just got home like five minutes ago. We just missed it. Like not being able to surprise you. <laughs> I wonder why the drop was on. Yeah, I just put it down. <laughs> and you were gonna question me as soon as you got in the door. Why'd you garage door up? Why'd you go dinner on the table? I heard you were you said we were coming home in June. I did. You might when we were down. Oh, I, I don't say. even remember that. Like, yeah, this has oh, been in the works for a while. Uh, it's still Thursday morning, because then I'm going to go see Caitlin in the second half of my vacation. Mm. She gets free tickets in the Dollywood. We're going to go to Dollywood. All right. <laughs> you like Dollywood? You've been there. Twice, I think. Mean. I think so. No, I'm still filming. Can we turn it off now? Yes. Yeah, he rolled his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Someone got up way too early this morning. You guys know what my office normally looks like. She's trashed it. She deflowered my office. So anyway, happy Tuesday. We're heading to the mall. Shoe shopping.
<laughs> Should I dance on camera too? I like these lights. I use one out in my bedroom. Nothing like embarrassing your kid at the mall. She loves it. Need a snack. Do you ever smile? You're as bad as your father. I think we've been shopping for over three hours. Now we're at some outdoor shops. I can't keep up with the younger crowd anymore. Huh. We're finally done. Father's Day, five days early. <laughs> One was really funny. Look, I showed how she overtook the office and she goes on a shopping spree and now she overtakes my living room. My place is never going to be the same. Are you in your happy spot stuck between us? They're probably crushed because they were in my suitcase on the way up here, though. So you got Tahoe cookie crumbs. <laughs> Yes. Primal grass fed beef jerky. I bought it and I looked at the and I was like, ooh, this is like some nasty hipster beef jerky. <laughs> yeah. We do eat a lot of all natural stuff, so. But I mean, like hipster, like paleo, this kind of coconut, pineapple, like what? Paleo friendly. What is it? It's some kind of hipster diet where you don't eat certain Hi. things. Hi. Oh, you are just the cutest little chihuahua in the whole wide world. Yes, you are. There is nothing cuter than you. Do you want a close up? Get a real close up. Yeah. Oh, you're, oh, you're camera shy. Ooh. Honor and gather under the guy's name that started the company. Overhead peppered salami. This doesn't get anything. <gasps> Pappy, he loves meat. Hmm. I don't think he needs it. I do. Look how skinny he is. Uh, He's got a big old bag of meat. <laughs> Rip. And a sweetie. Sada, horse head. So for Sada. Now, how do you say that? So for Sada. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Bag of meat and cookies and milk. Don't any better than that. First, you make regular non refrigerated milk, I should <laughs> More meat. Oh my god, the meat. It's a never ending bag of meat. <laughs> is that your stuff I always think you're to come down? <laughs> <laughs> Our giant here carries that now. Oh, sorry, dog. <gasps> Don't hurt the boy. Do they have the salami sticks there? More meat. Another bag of meat. <laughs> <laughs> I never seen the salami sticks, but I really didn't look for them. <laughs> Is your meat bag gone now? She trashes the rest of the house, and I trash the kitchen. So I got my fillets all thawed out, ready to go. Washed some red leaf lettuce and some iceberg lettuce. I got some drying here. I got some hanging out here. Cut up some pickling cucumbers. We're going to have salads tonight. I need to slice mushrooms from this steak. And I got tomatoes. I got a slice yet. And then we're having some french fries that I coated with olive oil and some rosemary. And I'm going to bake those in the oven. And then we're going to dip those in blue cheese dressing. Okay, everything for a salad bar is set out except for the lettuce. I'm going to keep it in the refrigerator to the very last second. And my mushrooms are pretty much done and they stink. I hate mushrooms. And french fries are, whoa, almost done. I'm getting there. Good morning and happy Wednesday. 
Um, today, I, you can see I need to take a shower, but we are headed to, Caitlin and I are headed to Chocolate World. Um, I've mentioned that in several of my videos about how close we live to um, Hershey Park and Hershey's Chocolate World. Well, they also have a line of chocolate called Sharpenburger. And Caitlin actually used to work for Hershey before she started with the airline, and she was the Sharpenburger girl um, at Chocolate World, where she would do demonstrations on their new line of chocolate. Um, it's more of a high-end chocolate with more natural ingredients than their regular Hershey products, um, and you can't get it everywhere yet. Uh, so she wants to stock up on it while she's here. So we're going to pick up my mom and my stepdad and my grandma on the way because um, they want to see her before she flies um, to Tennessee and she's flying there early tomorrow morning. So this is our last full day that she will be here with us. <coughs> so again, that's where we're headed this morning to pick them up and head to Chocolate World and to visit with them and then we will be coming home tonight um, to eat dinner with my husband since this is the last night that him and her will have together. Um, and then we have to leave here by um, a little before 4 tomorrow morning to get her to the airport for her early morning flight. So um, yesterday we did all that shopping and the only thing I bought was my Father's Day gift for my stepdad and I got um, some stuff at the Bath and Body Works in my annual sale and I used a coupon. Uh, so I stocked up on some things so I'll show you what I got. Alright so I only um, I didn't get much. This was it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven bottles. So this is the Malibu Heat. I got two shower gels, two lotions, and a body spray. And then the Golden Magnolia Sun. I got two body washes, two lotions. And then I got two individual body washes. One is the Italian Citrus Sun, and the other one is the Waikiki Beach Coconut. Out of all of these, the only one that I have used before is this one. Um, so, I, I, But I sniff everything before I, I buy it. So I'm excited to use some of these others. So they'll go in my rotation with the rest of my bath and body stash. Sorry, my memory card cut out there. But the only thing you missed me saying was, now that you've seen all my bath and body products, now it's time to get my bath and get my body washed. So that's where I'm heading now, into the bathroom. <laughs>
Plus, Reese's Milk Chocolate, special dog box. Hey, don't forget about Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, my personal favorite. Everyone has a favorite. Mine are Hershey's Kisses Chocolate. <laughs> Chocolates are made by dropping a precise amount of chocolate onto a moving steel belt. The chocolate is quickly cooled into our trademark kisses shape. the other candy like over in there. They do? Well, no, they had it in both sides, but they had it over there. He's still, she's still playing. They don't have the registers over here anymore. No, they don't. playing at that same table. She keeps shaking the, the cow sound thing. This is a food court area. There's all kinds of food along that wall you can buy and eat while you're sitting here. Pushes a cart through Chocolate World. No. Go ahead. <laughs> He's doing it again. He's trying to run her over with the cart. Wait till she turns her out. He's not close enough to her now. <laughs> It's not very busy through this area, and this is where you have to walk through. I don't understand where everybody's at. Oh. Is that where you want to go? Is that where you want to go down there? And that's all the farther you can go. This is basically it right here, because all you have down there on the right is bathroom. And right there, there's archways. That's ticket only. So we're just coming to this area here. Cooper, are you going to make movies? Where you going, you there, buddy? He says, I ain't too sure what's happening. Are you going to be a movie maker? Cooby. There you go. Are you wait, ready? Wait, wait, wait. I'm not recording it yet. Now it's recording. Okay, here you go. Do you get it? Yeah. Oh, go get it, boy. He doesn't know go what to it. do. Cooper, we're not getting any footage here except you standing there, <laughs> looking at the same tree. What are you doing? Hey, my boy, look at that close-up of that little baby. Yeah, <laughs> you're so cute. Oh, Katie, he's giving you kisses. <laughs> but he's now he's wanting to bite at the same time. <laughs> oh, thank you, sweetie. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. 
Okay, everyone, I think I'm going to end this vlog finally because there's footage on here now from Monday, Tuesday, and now Wednesday today. Um, so uh, hopefully I'll get that uploaded tomorrow, which is Thursday. Um, so it's just Wednesday night now, and Caitlin's getting a shower and starting her packing. Um, and we're having to hit the bed early tonight because we all have to be up at 3 o'clock tomorrow morning. i got to have her to the airport at 5 and I had to drop Mike off at work before 4 and the airport is 30 some miles away so we're just getting her packed up and nothing interesting happened yet tonight so I'm going to wind this up thanks for joining our little visit from Caitlin and um, I'll see you in the very near future